All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure IntelliJ. IntelliJ is by far the best IDE for Java developers. And if you're not using IntelliJ, then you should switch right now because pretty much all professional software engineers that I know, they use IntelliJ. At the end of this video, you will know exactly how to configure IntelliJ, but also I'm going to show you a few plugins that you must have in order to maximize your productivity with IntelliJ. So go ahead and navigate to jetbrains.com forward slash idea, and you can pretty much scroll down on this page. You can pretty much just uh, take a tour, but, but essentially IntelliJ allows you to enjoy productivity with Java. So if you do any other programming languages, they also have different IDEs, which are pretty much the same as IntelliJ. But in this video, let's go ahead and download IntelliJ. So I'm going to scroll up, download, and right here you see that you have two versions, Ultimate and Community. And basically the difference between them is that pretty much the Ultimate offers supports, for example, for databases, Spring, Java EE, and JavaScript, as well as TypeScript. And basically that's the difference. So I personally have Ultimate, and I think that if you have the money, it's worth investing in Ultimate. But I know that it's not always possible to afford for these tools, especially when you're starting out with these tools. So community, it's an absolutely choice, right? There's nothing wrong with community. It's also brilliant, but especially if you're doing like professional software engineering, then using Ultimate will help you to be more productive. So as well, you have for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So go ahead and pick your operating system and then pretty much download. So you can see it's downloading and I'm not going to wait 22 minutes or so because I've already downloaded this guy. So right here in my desktop, what I'm going to do is simply double click. And by the way, this is the community edition that I have here. There we go. Now I'm going to drag that into applications. Just give it a second. And there we go. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. Also going to eject this. Now, if I navigate to applications and we should see IntelliJ somewhere. So IntelliJ right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then open, close that. And there we go. So if you have had IntelliJ previously, you can import custom configuration. If you don't, just pretty much just stick with the default. So do not import settings. Okay. And then you can either send or ignore statistics. So I'm going to go ahead and send statistics. And right here, you can either go dark or light theme. So I'm going to pretty much just pick this one, this one right here, the dark one. And pretty much I'm going to skip the remaining and set defaults. There we go. So now we have downloaded and installed IntelliJ. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and create a very simple project with IntelliJ. Now create new project. So click on this button and then instead of Java. So right here, you see that you have a list of options. So JavaFX, Android, Maven, Gradle, Groovy, Kotlin and an empty project. So let's go ahead and pick Maven. And then in the project SDK, if you have no project SDK is because you need to install JDK. So in my case, I've got JDK 11 installed. So that's why it pops right here. And in case you have JDK installed, but nothing appeared, what you need to do is press new. And then you can see that right here, this takes me to my JDK installation. And you can see that I do have JDK 10, 11, and 1.8. So go ahead and pick your available version and then go ahead and press next. Now for the group ID, go ahead and call it demo. The artifact, go ahead and call it demo as well. Go ahead and press next. And then the project name, just leave it as demo and then pick a project location. In my case, I'm going to save it in my desktop. 
and then press finish. And there we go. So now go ahead and press enable auto import. So you don't have to import all the Maven dependencies. And there we go. All right. So now let's make sure that we configure properly the SDK as well as set the language level. So go ahead and press file and then project structure. And now you can see that right here, the project name is demo. So we configure this and right here, the project SDK. So if your one says none, simply go ahead and press new and then JDK or actually let me go ahead and delete this so you can see. So I'm going to delete that. So delete that apply and then go to project. And then you can see that no SDK. So I'm going to press new JDK. And then right here, it takes me to my JDK installation. And you can see that I've got Java 10, 11, and 1.8. So go ahead and pick 1.11 or the one that you have available. Open. And you can see that now it's configured. Also make sure that the project language is set to Java 11 or pick the one which is corresponding with your JDK installation. And finally, go ahead to modules. And then you see that right here, we have this module called demo. And then make sure that the language level is also set to the one according to your JDK. So my one is 11 and then apply and then OK. And this is all you need to do to set up your JDK plus the language level correctly. Now, in the project section, go ahead and open up demo folder and then source and then main. And then inside of Java, go ahead and right click and then new Java class, call it main. OK. And you can see that we have a class called main. Now let's go ahead and type PSVM for public static void main. Enter. And you can see that IntelliJ is amazing. Now, if we want to print out, simply type SOUT. So S O U T for system dot print line and then enter. And now go ahead and simply say hello and then world from Amigos code. There we go. So now let's go ahead and run this. Simply press play. Run. And you can see right here that we are printing hello world from Amigos code. And this is pretty much how you set up the SDK and run your very first class with IntelliJ. Now I told you that we need to install few plugins in order for us to take advantage and be more productive with IntelliJ. Well, the first plugin that I'm about to show you, it's called Presentation Assistant. And essentially, it allows you to learn all the keyboard shortcuts that IntelliJ has. So go ahead and open up the preferences. So press IntelliJ and then preferences. And then right here on the search bar, go ahead and search for plugins. You can see that we have plugins here. And then pretty much go ahead and browse repositories and search for presentation assistant. So right here, go ahead and install. There we go. And if I restart IntelliJ, apply, OK, restart. There we go. So I'm going to close this tip of the day. And you might not notice anything, but what I'm going to do is pretty much just put my cursor inside of this string right here. And then I'm, and then I'm going to press command and then W. So if you notice at the bottom, you see that you can see the keyboard shortcut that I've used. So right here, command W again, and that extended the selection via, and then you can see command and then W as well as you see the equivalent for Windows users, which is amazing. So let's actually first configure the keyboard shortcuts as well as presentation assistant. So instead of open preferences by clicking IntelliJ IDEA and then preferences, you can see that this is command and then comma. 
what I'm going to do is simply press command comma and then go to key map and make sure that you use the Mac OS X. So this for me is my personal choice. But for you, if you want to follow along with all the keyboard shortcuts that I have, go ahead and pick the same as me. Otherwise, go ahead and pick Mac OS 10.5 plus and then you learn those. But for me, I've been using this for ages and that's the one I feel most comfortable with. So I'm going to press that. And also we can configure presentation assistant. So presentation assistant. And you can see that right here, the key maps are the same for Mac OS. So if you want to change those, simply select the Mac OS 10.5 or Emacs or Visual Studio or whatever you prefer. So I'm going to stick with Mac OS 10. And then one more thing that I'm going to do is change the font size for you so that you can see properly. So font size. And then right here, I'm going to change this to 18. Apply and then OK. So now you can see that it's a bit bigger. Now, let me go ahead and teach you another keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to highlight everything there and then press Option and then Command V. And you can see that we extracted variable by pressing Option Command V. And you can see the same for Windows. So I'm going to type hello and then world. And then if I run this, you can see that we have hello world from Amigos code. Now let's go ahead and install a second plugin. So this one is very interesting and this will allow you to avoid the mouse completely. So I'm going to pretty much press command and then comma and then go to plugins. And this one, it's called, if you go to browse repositories, this one, it's called ACE and then jump. And you can see that it has like a quarter of a million downloads and almost five star rating. So go ahead and install that. And then restart IntelliJ. Apply. OK. And then restart. And then I'm actually going to untick this because I don't need it. Go ahead and close. And now, so what we can do is let's say that we have a method. So let's go ahead and say void method. And then let's go ahead and have nothing here. So let me duplicate this and you can see the keyboard shortcuts down below. And let me grab that as well and then name this as method three, right? So now let's say that I'm here and I want to navigate to this method three. So instead of, you know, clicking on method three and basically I'm on my keyboard and then having to change to my mouse, basically what I can do is press control and then column and you can see that we activated ace jump. Now I can go ahead and press any letter which is near my destination. So in my case, I'm going to press three and we can see that now it's telling me that to get to that point, I need to press F. So I'm going to press F and there we go. I'm right in there. Now let's go back to my main method. I'm going to press, I'm going to press control and then semicolon. And then if I want to go to the hello world part, I want to press D. And you can see that now I can press G, which will take me right into this section right here. And now I can make according changes. So one more thing that we can also do with this is if I press control and then semicolon. Now, if I press left, you can see that it takes me right to beginning of each line. If I press up, you see that it takes one step further as well as including the lines inside of each method. And then if I press right, you see that it takes me right to the actual end of the line as well as the beginning. So if I want to go, for example, to the end of this class, I can simply press E and there we go. So Ace Jump is amazing and I use it every single day and pretty much I don't use a mouse at all. And the final thing that I want to show you with IntelliJ is not a plugin 
but it's how you should format your Java code. And the best way to format your Java code is by using the styles provided by Google, which pretty much removes, you know, for example, these tabs. So right here, you can see that I do have like, um, you know, four spaces. And instead of that, it should just be one. And that way our code looks much neater. So I'm gonna go back to Chrome and open up a new tab and type Google and then Java style guide. And then you can see that I get this link right here. So this is a GitHub link. Click on it. Oh, actually, it's not that one. So is this one right here. So the third link. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So now go ahead and pick Java. And make sure that it's IntelliJ. So right here, it's IntelliJ. I'm going to leave a link to this file so you can download it right away. Then I'm going to press raw and then right click, save as, and then I'm going to save this into my desktop. All right. So now let me go back to IntelliJ and then press command and then comma, then open up editor. And then right here, you should see code style, open that up. And then you can see Java right here, open up the clog and then import scheme. IntelliJ IDEA code style XML. Go ahead and pick the file that we've just downloaded. Open. OK. Apply and then OK. So now let's go ahead and format this class. So the keyboard shortcut to format any class or any code is simply by pressing Option Command and then L. And you can see the keyboard shortcut down below. So you can see that we formatted 10 lines and this is the preferred way for styling your Java code. Now let's go ahead and pretty much add a space here, another one here, a bunch there and some here. Again, if I press option command and then L, you can see that it formats everything back again. So this is how you download, install and configure IntelliJ. If you have any questions, about what we did here, drop me a message. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. This is all for now. Join me in the next one. See ya.